We're going to look at the Fender Deluxe Reverb next. This is a small, good studio amp, and it's also a good small uh, club amp. It's a little more powerful than the Blues Junior, 22 watts and one 12 inch speaker, but it's a little more old fashioned. If we look at it up close, you're going to see that there's a speed and intensity knob here. That's because this has vibrato, which is in, back in the 60s, that's the sound that was used before chorus, before phase shifter, before flanger. Um, it's a tube effect that makes the volume cut in and out, and it's adjustable for how deep and how fast it goes. We have our reverb control. Now, there's two channels, but in the old days, there wasn't a clean channel and a dirty channel. There was a microphone channel and a guitar channel. So you see one marked normal. That doesn't have the treble boost that the, uh, the guitar has. And this channel has, is a brighter sound for the guitar. And this one has no vibrato, just volume, treble, bass. The other channel has volume, treble, bass, reverb, speed, and intensity. And those can be kicked on and off with a foot switch. Just like these days, the foot switch would throw you from one channel to the other. On the foot switch here, that turns off and on the reverb and the vibrato. So let's take a look at this amp and, and see how it sounds now. Again, plug into the guitar before you plug into the amplifier. That way you avoid that nasty sound you get when you have an open ground. So I plugged into the guitar and I'm plugging into the amplifier now. And there's a standby switch on this. You reach in the back and flip the standby switch up, and now you can hear the amp. Now it's got the vibrato on right now. I can click that vibrato off. This has a really sweet reverb. This is a good amplifier if you're doing a lot of 60s rock, or if you're doing blues, but... does not have a master volume, so in order to overdrive it, you have to turn it up to about 7, and if you get it up that loud, the neighbors are going to complain if I do that for very long, so I can't show you the distorted sound, but it has a beautiful clean sound, and the vibrato, if you kick it in real hard, it almost sounds like a digital delay, and digital delay is a, a modern reproduction of what we used to get with an echo machine called an echoplex, which was a delay. And a lot of guys found out that if they turned the reverb way up and adjusted the speed on their uh, vibrato and kicked the intensity way up, they could almost em emulate. They play the song and then at the very last, kick, they could hit that vibrato and almost get the sound of a slapback echo. So that's one of the tricks with your vibrato that a lot of people don't discover. And like I said, it's an old school amplifier. Unless you're doing blues or old 60s rock, you're probably going to want that dirty channel, which this old one doesn't have. But that's the deluxe reverb. They run around eight or nine hundred dollars, seven hundred, eight hundred, nine hundred dollars. And for the old school guys, this is a great amp, just like the one I had in the 60s.